Good afternoon and welcome to the Saskatchewan Stock Grower Semi-Annual Meeting. Thank you all for joining us this afternoon um, and welcome to the President's Report. It's been a historic year for, for stock growers. Um, there's been a couple of big things that we've been able to be involved with. Um, one of them being getting the foundation off the ground. We'd like to uh, um, acknowledge the work that, that they've been doing to to move forward our conservation uh, initiatives, you know, and hopefully we have uh, have some framework in the near future to start in on conservation uh, term easements. Um, the way these are going to be different than than what uh, normal or what it, what people consider normal environmental groups provide is, you know, perpetuity has always been. Um, been kind of the catalyst when it came to conservation. Um, not all, but but lots of initiatives. That's uh, that's what was promoted, and, and we're not interested in doing that. Um, we're interested in in uh, results based term um, agreements with producers, and you know the opportunities that are going to come through the foundation are going to allow for that, especially in this time when there's such a, a emphasis put on the value of a fragile ecosystem and the benefits of, of grazing livestock. So, you know, in that way, getting it off the ground um, has, has, you know, always there's going to be some growing pains, but the foundation is, is, uh, is going to be a huge part of stock growers going into the future. And we're really, really excited to see it grow. We, we've had our challenges um, with COVID not being able to meet in person as a board as much as I would have liked. Uh, we, we managed to get most of the way through our strategic plan. It's an ongoing process. And what a strategic plan does is, is chart the course for, for going into the future on, on what direction do our members want us to go? What do we identify as the priorities of this organization? Um, how we can best uh, be a voice for our members, how we can be the best that we can be in our industry. And so that's an ongoing process. We, we uh, have spent a significant amount of time on it and there's a short bit to go, but um, it's coming together quite nicely. I've got to experience this a couple of times with, uh, with stock growers and, and each time it's been important um, and each time it's uh, kept us on the course of, of the goals that we've had in mind. The elephant in the room always is going to be um, over the course of the last year, we've, we've managed as good as we could the drought. Um, we've been involved with uh, industry stakeholder meetings every step along the way. In fact, we were just in one uh, yesterday to to talk about next steps. The, the enhancement of the farm and ranch water infrastructure program has been an excellent tool for producers. Another thing that we've asked for, um, which I don't know if it'll come to fruition or not, but it's on the table, is that when it comes to livestock price insurance premiums that we be treated, treated the same as um, other agricultural producers in this province, that the weight of the premium shouldn't all be on, on the producer. The, the tools that are put in place um, that weren't there 15 years ago, you know, are, are there for, for your disposal and your uh, discretion. And I encourage any and all producers to have a look at forage insurance, have a look at rainfall insurance, have a look at uh, calf price insurance, um, utilize the farm and ranch water infrastructure program. You know, it's what, what we've been working for and, and this, uh, this particular government needs to be commended on, on listening to producers and, and enhancing some of the programs that are available to us. Um, one of the exciting things that, that we got approved for and we're allowed to um, work with the Ministry of Agriculture on is um, a processing study. And what that means is, you know, we're gonna identify the opportunities and challenges of, about growing the processing in Saskatchewan. You know, things like 
is there are there enough animals to to warrant a plant you know should it be federally inspected um is is there enough room to to have several small processing plants that that are viable that will be here for generations to come to give us opportunities to to capture the value on on the farm front instead of you know passing it on down the line to to the packers you know we want to we want to see this industry be profitable and we want to see um if they're um we want to see if the opportunity to to enhance that end of the industry in this province is is a viable option so we're excited about our processing study and that leads us into um one of the things that we've been involved with uh for the past few years and that's the beef drive um this was an initiative and i'll always uh give a shout out to doug gillespie for this he he came out and said you know it gets people eating beef it gets uh producers a tax refund and you know it's it's just a feel-good story for stock growers to to know that we can contribute to a worthy cause and so hats off to doug and to date um you know there's been forty thousand pounds um invested into this this uh program and that's a retail value of, of roughly two hundred and twenty thousand dollars so you know if you've got an animal that uh you're willing to to get processed and and you'd like a tax receipt for that get a hold of the office there's um, money available um you know we've got some sponsors that help with the cutting and wrapping to to make it more affordable um going down the line for the for the food bank and and we've had some wonderful partnerships with um processing facilities in, in both Weyburn and um and Swift Current. So if you haven't had a chance to be able to do that, I'd encourage that as well. Um, the other thing um, that I need to bring to the forefront that was a huge success last year and we look forward to putting on uh, again, this year is the fundraising auction. You know, we're we're a membership-driven organization, um, and the day-to-day -day operations. Uh, we've got a, a great general manager and, and excellent staff underneath him. And a shout out needs to go to all the hard work that they do. And the fundraising auction contributes to those things like wages and day-to-day, -day and um, you know, photocopying and all sorts of things and it's an important thing to support and we thank you for the the support um last year and look forward to, to doing that again this year and that um that's going to be on the 30th of march so stay tuned for details on that um I'm happy to answer any and all questions after after this report. Um, just a quick comment: my, you know, my term is is going to be coming up in June, and and uh, I've had the privilege of being uh, involved with with stock growers uh, since 2006 heavily, and um, I couldn't ask for a better group of of individuals to to work with on behalf of the producers of this province. So with that, I moved my report.